is earsports.com at the Flying to the Hoop Tournament in Dayton, Ohio. We're talking with Maurice Anifog. Or Maurice, I better ask you, how do you pronounce your name first? Anifio. Anifio. Uh, you want to back up just a tiny So tell me, uh, first off, any, anything new in recruiting? You've been to any games lately or anything like that? Sorry. Have you been to any college games or anything this season yet? Um, I've been, yeah, I've been attending, uh, I think, at, like, Marshall University. Yeah, we go to their games, like, sometimes back home because, you know, we train, like, in campus, like, close to where. So, we go, I go to their game, and the last game we had at the Roper Rana, yeah, we went to see the um, Kentucky-Indiana game. Yeah, I was there, so probably that's, like, two college games. Uh, actually, uh, and which schools have seemed to be the most, <laughs> the most interested in you lately in terms of recruiting? Who have you been um, hearing from? Actually, I've... Uh, been hearing from a lot of schools, but right now the schools that seem to be really, really, really interested, interested in me is Arizona State University. You know, and kind of like it's, you know, I think I have interest, but I'm still, you know, kind of like I don't want to make my decision yet. But Arizona State is recruiting me really high. Right? And have you had a chance to visit Arizona State yet? No, not yet. Not yet but I'm going to really soon. What about uh, obviously the in-state school, West Virginia, right up the yeah, road? Yeah, West Virginia, you know, WVU too. But um, you know, WVU for now they've been like more on the low key for now. So, but Arizona State is really you know top right now. And Coach Fulford mentioned Florida as a possibility. Yeah, Florida, Miami, UCLA. Um, a lot of schools. Um, UNLV. When would you like to make a decision? Um, as soon as I finish my visit, because I really want to take my final visit. Because I, I, since I'm kind of like new in the U.S. Mm -hmm. yet, I, I really don't know how. I really, I still need to learn a lot, you know, and how things go, you know, and how they do stuff around here. So I think before I'm going to make my visit, before I'm going to take my decision, I have to make all my visit. Like I have to take all my visit, my final visit, you know, go to all the schools and see what I want to happen. And you've been, you've been to West Virginia, right? Yeah, we went to um, Midnight Madness. What did you think about the place? Uh, it's alright. Did you like it? Okay. Yeah, but like I like West Virginia. You know, West Virginia has actually been a team I've actually been following, like even back home. You know, but like I said, I have to still take my visit and see what each of the schools have for me before I make my decision. I don't. I don't want. I don't want to get carried away with the fact that I like this school. Mm -hmm. I want to see what they have for me before, because I'm going there to play basketball. I'm not going there to, you know, like the school or enjoy what's going on. I'm going there to play basketball. So I want to see which of the schools have like a better program for me before I make my decision. And what what are you looking for in a school? What what do you want to kind of check out when you go on these visits? Firstly, academically, it has to be a school that really good academically. And secondly, it has to be a school that I feel happy. I feel feel like I'm at home. I feel like you know. I don't really need a. I don't. I don't. I'm not saying I want it to be a school where I'm just gonna go and I play 50, 40 minutes right away. But at least a school that will appreciate potentials that I have and be able to work with me and get me better. You know, to that place that I want to go. And have you had a chance to get to know the coaches at West Virginia very well, Coach Huggins and his coach? Um, I only met him twice. Once he came to my see of practice, and secondly was when we went to Midnight Madness. You know, that's apparently twice I've only seen him. We don't really have to talk like, really talk like that. And any of the assistants? Have you talked to any of the assistants there? No, I, I just, just that period, mm -hmm. just those two period. And what, uh, what's it been like for you coming over to the U.S. and playing ball after you know, living in Nigeria for almost your whole life? Well, well actually it's been, <laughs> I would really, the basketball here is pretty much the same with what we have back home. But it's just, the difference is here they play more games and the kids here are more athletic. You, know, you have to step it up a bit to be able to match up. You know with what's going on here. The kids are more athletic. They're more. It's more physical. A little bit. It's more physical. Yeah, I think so. More physical here than 
how it is back home. But apart from that, it's pretty much the same thing. 